Hello everyone. Welcome to this series on literary terms and literary theory. If you want to study the notes and MCQs related to this term, you can click the link given in the description. We are also going to start our online and offline classes for UGC NET for English literature very soon. So stay connected with us. In this video, we are going to discuss the term dialogic criticism. Introduction. Dialogic criticism, influenced by the theories and critical procedures of the Soviet critic Mikhail Bakhtin, challenges traditional notions of literary analysis and offers a unique perspective on the interpretation of literary works. Bakhtin's ideas emphasize the role of dialogue and multiple voices in shaping the meaning and significance of a literary text. Unlike post-structuralist theorists that view a literary work as a product of impersonal forces, dialogic criticism considers literature as a site for the interaction of diverse voices, each representing specific social contexts and speech communities. This video explores the key concepts of dialogic criticism, Bakhtin's focus on the novel and the influence of his ideas on contemporary critical practices. Bakhtin's Perspective In Bakhtin's view, a literary work is not a monologic expression of the author's voice, but a polyphonic composition of various voices and modes of discourse. Each utterance in a literary work, whether spoken by a character or presented by the narrator, is influenced by social factors and relational contexts, giving rise to a rich interplay of meanings. Bakhtin's interest in the novel led him to contrast monologic novels, which subordinate all voices to author's discourse, such as by Fyder Dostoevsky, where characters express independent and conflicting voices and consciousnesses. This distinction highlights the liberating effect of dialogic form, enabling diverse voices to coexist without absolute resolution. The Carnivalesque Bakhtin's concept of the Carnivalesque, as explored in the Rabelais and his world, reveals a literary mode that challenges authority and social hierarchies, often through irreverent and subversive voices. This mode allows for a mingling of voices from different social levels, enabling mockery of authority and profaning of sacred norms. Bakhtin traces the occurrence of the Carnivalesque in various historical periods and identifies its presence in Dostoevsky's novels, reinforcing the dialogic nature of these works. Discourse in the Novel In Discourse in the Novel, Bakhtin emphasizes that a novel is constituted by divergent and contending social voices that gain their full significance through their interaction with one another and with the narrator's voice. This perspective challenges Aristotle's poetics, which prioritizes a cohesive plot with a conclusive resolution. Instead, Bakhtin elevates discourse into the primary component of a narrative offering a medley of voices and attitudes that remain open-ended and irreconcilable. This approach stands in contrast to the rigid Marxist criticism prevalent in Stalinist Russia, emphasizing a singular ideology and social realism. Contemporary Dialogic Critics Contemporary dialogic critics embrace Bakhtin's ideas and purpose that literary works as well as culture in general, consist of a plurality of contending and qualifying social voices. Dialogic criticism acknowledges the coexistence of multiple critical theories and practices, rejecting both relativism and authoritarianism. Critics like Don Bialostowski advocate for an ongoing and open ended dialogism, encouraging voices to engage in conversation, discover affinities, and clarify differences without aiming for a definitive resolution. Conclusion 
In conclusion, dialogic criticism rooted in Bakhtin's theories offers a fresh and multifaceted approach to literary analysis by recognizing the importance of multiple voices and their dialogic interaction. Dialogic criticism challenges traditional notions of authorship, authority, and meaning in literary works. Its influence has been widespread in contemporary literary theory and practice, inspiring a diverse range of critical perspectives. So this was the discussion on the term dialogic criticism. We will discuss some other term in the next video. If you have any doubts or questions, you can ask in the comments section. And until the next video, goodbye and thank you.